they're tremendous storytellers musically. Um, and whether that's through through vocals, through harmonies, through the key changes, uh, they're very, very dialed into the musicality of the story and how they want to tell that and how they make us feel emotional about the music when we hear it. It's a great day to play, everybody. Welcome on into the channel. Yeah. Whether it's your first time here or you are rejoining us, thank you for being here with us today. You're loved and appreciated. Always welcome here in this channel, and you are enough. Today, we are going to be back with a little bit more of The Wands. This is on the Wish Bus with Hindi Tayo Puede, and uh, I am super, super excited to be getting into more of them. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't already, by the time that this video comes out, you should also have... Uh, their brand new single out as well back home so you can check that out uh, that was absolutely beautiful uh, and should be available on all uh, streaming sources now so check that out there also if you haven't already for our channel like subscribe hit the notification bell follow along with our journey check out our live stream Saturdays noon central time then you can check out our brand new single my light that's out now on Spotify Apple Amazon and all the other places the music exists but without further ado let's go <laughs> Feel it nothing in you are son. Ganitong mga tanungan Wish 107.5 At kahit di sigur ato Tinuloy natin ang ating ugnayan Ngayon naubos na ang kwantuhan Nagsimula ng magsisihan Lahat ay parang lumabog Di alam kung saan tutungo Sabi ko na nga ba Dapat nung una pa lamang Di na umasa Di na niwala Hindi tayo pwede Tagpo, pero di tinaghana Hindi na posible Ang mga puso'y huwag nating pahirapan Suku na sa laban Hindi Dude, ah, oh, man. There's something so smooth about them. Like, it's so soothing and this is um you know when we, when we listened back home i feel like it, it was something that we kind of discovered too and we've, we've heard a couple things by them now but we're really starting to branch out and hear more and more stuff by them they they do the very very um i don't want to say traditional because it doesn't work for a lot of people but when they create music they create music that not only tells a story but it has that the long form build and um, there's a reason that a lot of people are going away from that now is because attention spans are shorter and shorter. And that's really unfortunate. But, you know, you don't get a lot of four or five minute songs anymore. I, shit. Sometimes you don't even get two minute songs anymore. A lot of times on pop radio because people's attention spans are so short. So in those shorter songs, you don't get the chance to really build, build vocally, build instrumentally, really take those pieces and kind of give the listener this emotional journey. And that's what they do. And it, it's it's so, so stunning. And I also want to point out real quick, we've seen a lot of different versions on the Wish Bus of them trying to fit people in here, but this is nuts. Like, his guitar is, like, just barely fitting in here and has to be, like, this setup is nuts to fit in this small little space, man. Good on them. Good on them. All right, I'm going to go back to this build a little bit. Wow, gorgeous, man. 
Ang mga puso'y huwag nating pahirapan Suku na sa laban Hindi tayo pwede God dang. So many cool things happening here. First off, the sound of this is is just incredible. I love their voices. I love how they sound together. I love how smooth and kind of like sultry they are. But can we let, let's talk about let's talk about bands for a second here. Let's talk about traditional pop music and bands and and the amount of extra work that a lot of these guys do. Again, if you've never if you've never played an instrument, if, if you've never done that, it, it's hard to sometimes comprehend what has to go into that to be able to play to the level that a lot of these guys plays. But then to add in instrumentation and singing at the same time, you know, it's like you're, you're trying to do and think about two things simultaneously. And it's kind of like the whole thing. Remember like where it was like pat your head and like rub your stomach while you're patting your head and stuff like that. Like thinking about doing two things at the same time can just, it, it, can, it can be a lot. And when you play instruments and stuff from a, a younger child, it is a little bit easier to learn that. Um, but then for for pianists especially, uh, when you have left hand doing right one thing and right hand doing something else, oftentimes in different, you know, it might be completely different um, uh, beat markers, right? It, it, it's you have three things now. You have left hand, right hand, and singing. So it's just I want to show some appreciation here for these guys and you know bringing their own instruments. But what a lot of people probably aren't catching is they're changing the settings on a lot of the instruments at the same time. So, you know, when we're looking at the keyboard here, he's like programming in, you know, different synths, stuff like that as he's going. If you see him doing something where he's reaching up there, he's programming in different sounds or possibly different volumes um, to do different things in the song to make the song sound different. Even the guitarist, if you're not familiar with the guitar, you know, there's settings on the side of the guitar where he's actually changing some of those things to give it a different sound from the verses versus the chorus and stuff like that. So all these guys are doing so much here. We have the guy in the back who is bare. Like I just, I always feel bad for these drummers that they have on here because he's like, he's like a T Rex right now, like trying to trying to play. It's, I just wanted to take that and, and just kind of, kind of, you know, as you guys are watching this, you know, there is a there is a special appreciation that uh, should go into what has to go into all this music because it's not as simple as you know recording a song pre and playing a backing track when you're doing all of this and everything has to be right and everything has to be perfect when you do these lives. And it's just something that I, I greatly, greatly appreciate when I see things like this. Go back just a little bit here.
before this bill, like it, this is again, this is just like I think about bands that have stood the test of time that do this. We talk about Coldplay a lot, whether you love them or you hate them. Coldplay has a knack for doing songs that build emotionally, instrumentally, vocally, of understanding the pace. A song is no different than a story, right? If you were to go and read a story, let's say that you were going to read, I don't know, any fiction novel that's your favorite, that's your favorite fiction novel. If you were going to go read a story and, you know, all of a sudden in the first chapter, they drop all the big stuff on you and then it's just like the rest of the 18 chapters or stuff that's not interesting, that doesn't work, right? And again, what a lot of newer pop music does, especially here in the U.S., because the songs aren't very long, is that's what they do. Um, it's like the goal is to bring you in within the first like 10 to 15 seconds and then keep you there the entire time. So they just make songs shorter. So they basically like give you a short story. They hit you with everything right away. They bring some things back a little bit, but then they just make it shorter so like you don't get bored after getting all the big stuff. Where a real short story, the way that it works is it keeps the listener, uh, the the reader, engaged by giving small little tidbits, by building with character development, right? Really getting us attached to the characters before, you know, we have this big ramp up and a climax that happens in the book so that when that happens, we have this emotional attachment to it. And longer songs have the ability to do that type of storytelling. And with the wands, I feel like they do that really, really well. They introduce musical lines that are almost like the character development so we start getting in love and attached to this really really peaceful melody and as we go those melodies start building on each other we see more of a character development aspect they start building on each other they bring in different instrumentation so they're not necessarily introducing anything new as opposed to building and as the character grows as that mute melodic line grows we get to see it grow musically instead of see it grow as an individual and then they have these big, big pieces in here where then we start seeing in, in these choruses and stuff like that. And then it brings us back and these bridges and they pull it back a little bit. They allow for a little relaxation before you we were going to get this big, big, you know, kind of climax again in the song. And uh, again, it's it's not necessarily what is popular today on pop radio, but it is something that very, very few groups can still do very, very well. And I feel like the Wands does it extraordinarily well in their storytelling in their songs. And just so, so, so beautiful. They're, oh, they're so good. Again, I think I think the best way to describe them is is storytelling. Um, you know, it, and it's not that they don't still have this great integration of pop to make the songs popular, but they're they're tremendous storytellers musically. Um, and whether that's through through vocals, through harmonies, through the key changes, uh, they're very very dialed into the musicality of the story and how they want to tell that and how they make us feel emotional about the music when we hear it. And and it's just, I don't know, it's something we don't get as much here anymore in the West. And, and it's unfortunate. Um, I think that uh, it, it was interesting because um, there's been a lot of talk recently, especially with like the start of AI and like AI starting to make music and stuff like that and and whether producers are even going to be um, relevant anymore. But as much as they can try to emulate, uh, you know, as of right now, AI can't, AI can't feel emotion, right? It emulates emotions. And then and in that case, the AI is just a sociopath, right? It's, it's like it's almost there, but never quite. 
And I think that that's what's going to set stuff out. Like AI might be able to reproduce pop hits. And that's the unfortunate part because pop hits don't necessarily make us feel emotion. They're there and, and they're short and they're there to make us just, tss, 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 tss. but I get, I get afraid, especially as you know, the big record labels start taking over more and more things. And it, now it's like, if you want to get a song on, even with a record label, it has to get so many likes on, you know, on Twitter or on TikTok or whatever it is before they'll let you release it. And so everybody's just looking for the same music and the music starts sounding very similar. Um, you know, pop music here is all very, very similar and it becomes unfortunate because as we do that, as we start having things like that happen, as we start relying on more things like AI, we lose the emotional impact that we have for musicians like the wands. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I think I've appreciated about OPM and, and Filipino music in general is it seems like there's still a very much a love and a want for that in the Philippines. And I hope that that transcends back to the West because I feel like it's something that's lacking. My only fear is now is the people that are in place and in charge of, you know, either labels or um, making music, uh, producing music, mixing music, like that they're so used to now or the, or they've been trained in styles that are not for this, that like even if it can start making a resurgence here, like are they going to be able to do it properly because they've been doing it? I don't know if improper is the right word, but they, have, they haven't been doing it this way in a very, very long time. They're not catering to this type of listener anymore. And it's it's unfortunate for music. It's unfortunate for lover, like true lovers of music, I think, is we're seeing kind of a, a loss that's happening. And I hope that that ends up turning around. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please, if you haven't already, leave your comments down below. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow along with our journey. Check out our live stream Saturdays, noon central time. And uh, you guys need a secret code for today. So let's make it, um, I think there's like a piano, like keyboard one there. Let's do piano, keyboard, and mic. We'll just keep it simple with this one. And uh, if nobody told you that they love you today, please don't forget that I love you. You're appreciated, always welcome here in this channel, and you are enough. And last but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Now coming back.